most guidance and information provided by the Department of Public Health, the Department of Veterans Services, the VA, and the CDC on how to prepare and protect residents from the spread of COVID-19 was either ignored or not promptly implemented. A 174-page report released by the state today outlining what investigators believe went wrong at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. Good Wednesday evening and thank you for joining us at Western Mass News at 10 o'clock on Fox 6. I'm Sarah Grinelli. Chris Pisano is off tonight. Residents across Western Mass are now standing out asking that changes be made to the home after the deadly coronavirus outbreak that killed dozens of veterans. Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis joins us live from Holyoke with more. Sarah, everyone at the standout all want the same thing for the soul for the Holyoke Soldiers Home to have more resources so something like this doesn't happen again. And this is something that my father would want me to do. His saying was always help the other guy no matter what. Barb Gilly says her father is one of the veterans in the Holyoke Soldiers Home who died during the coronavirus outbreak. She says he tested negative for the virus six times, but went downhill after the sixth test. So Wednesday, she's asking for some changes to happen. I would like to see the Soldiers Home having more space and room for the for the guys. I would love to see more staffing. I would love to see leadership that really know what they're doing. One Vietnam veteran volunteers at the soldiers home. The soldiers who passed away were also his friends. He came out holding up an American flag, standing up for the soldiers who still live inside the Holyoke home. We want to make sure the soldiers home is maintained to the highest quality of standards and we know there's a, there's a tragedy up there uh, but we don't want to make we don't want to make this the epitaph of the soldiers home we want to make this a continuous memorial uh, that ensures the quality of life for soldiers now when holyoke mayor alex morse heard about the coronavirus cases at the soldiers home he sent the reports to lieutenant governor karen polito the independent investigation released wednesday says had he not done so, it would likely have taken several additional days before a command team responded to the soldiers' home to address the COVID-19 crisis. When I'm hearing that people are in danger, their health isn't being protected, people aren't taking it seriously, there's no sense of urgency, you go and you do whatever you can um, to, get, to get changes and to get help. Governor Charlie Baker says he plans to announce more changes to the home tomorrow. He says it will include long-term infrastructure improvements as well. Live in Holyoke, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.